Good evening. So, Praetors on the bases. Um, people have been asking me uh, on Facebook and on various forums how I've uh, sort of achieved this crater effect on these bases. Um, rather than try, try and explain it to you, um, I thought I'd just do a quick video and show you how to do it. Um, it's dead simple. Uh, you just need a few little bits and a little bit of patience and uh, it's easy enough to do. So, what I normally do is um, I paint all the figures first um, on strips like this. There's some that I'm working on. So I paint them on the strips first, uh, and then once the base is ready, I snip them off and then I glue them on after. Um, I'll show you a base. Those figures are going to go on this size base. This is the base I've already done for them. Um, so I make the craters, uh, and then I put the texture paint on, uh, let it dry and crack up and stuff like that. And the reason I do that is... Um, See, because the figures are so small, and you put them on this base, trying to paint round them. Um, personally, I'd end up getting paint on the figures, which is what I don't want to do. Um, as you can see there, it comes out okay. I know you can see the little bases. Let's try and find something to point at them. Um, you can see the little bases, but from a tabletop distance, I don't think it matters too much. Um, your opinion, opinion may vary, but. For me, that works fine. So I'll quickly show you how, how I do it. There's a couple of things you're gonna need. Um, obviously you need your base. Um, I use Milliput to make the craters. This is a standard yellow-gray Milliput. Um, get yourself some form of sculpting tool. I just use this old Games Workshop one. Um, and the end of a paintbrush. I just use the, the paintbrush I happened to be using at the time. I just use that. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So the first thing you need to do then is you need to prepare your milliput. Um, I'll be back in two seconds. Okay then, so um, you've got, I've got my milliput here and there, there's a two different sticks that you get in there. These are nearly nearly done. I need some a, a new one. Um, but what, all you need to do is get an equal amount of each, just a little bit, because these are only small bases, uh, roughly, something like that. Maybe a little bit more of the yellow. Uh, something like that. A bit more of that. I'll just have done it wrong. Something like that. An equal amount, anyway, of each. Okay. Then all you need to do is just knead it all together. Uh, like so. So, what you want is a nice even colour. Without any streaks in it. What I generally do, I just roll it in my hands. Um, like so. Okay, so I'll get this. I'll get this milliput put um, ready. I'll be back in a second. Okay, then. So I've rolled out the milliput put um, and made it into a sort of a, a long sausage, basically. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off um, into sort of equalish parts like this. Okay, so I've got a little bit of each. And that could maybe be that, yeah. So each one of these is going to form its own crater. So all you do, you get one of these bits that you've um, that you've cut off, make it into a little ball, and then wherever you want the crater on your base, yeah, just stick it on like that, and then get another one. So this ba base here is going to have infantry on it, so I'll, I'll stick three craters on this one, um, like this. One, two, and I'll put, I don't know, another one there. There we go. Okay, so you've got your, your three uh, little balls of milliput that you've squashed down onto the base there. And then the paintbrush, this is where the paintbrush comes in. What you're going to do is use the end of it to form the centre of the crater. What, you, what I do is I dip, dip it into um, some water just to moisten the end so it doesn't stick. Okay. Just dip that in a bit of water there. Okay, and then all you're going to do is stick it in like that and watch it will stick. So all you're doing really is just creating that centre of the crater like that. There we go. Just make that one a little bit bigger. 
And you can make these uh, as big or as small as you like. Um, this is going to be three small craters. So what you left there is these little little balls that you stuck down with a little hole in the middle. So what we're going to do now then is actually texture the sides of it, and this is where the sculpting tool comes in. So if we look at it a bit closer. So <coughs> you got your, your sculpting tool there, and all you're going to do, or all I do, is start up in at the top there, and you're just pushing down like this, and you find a lot of it starts sticking. So what you could actually do is moisten the, uh, the sculpting tool as well, just a little bit, just dip that in the water, just so it doesn't stick. There you go, like that. And you're gonna just squash it down like this. And you're kind of forming the crater. Don't worry too much if it all starts ripping, because that's kind of the effect that you want. You don't want it to be too smooth. Um, so it all starts, uh, the edges and things, like you can't see, starts ripping. A little bit and that adds to the effect to the way it's all starting to rip it doesn't matter too much because once you put the texture the textured paint on uh, the Aguila and earth on it covers it over anyway so let's keep working that in there like that and what I would advise as well if you're making a base for uh, vehicles to go on uh, put the vehicles on first before you put the little before you stick the balls down um, because you don't want your vehicles stood at a weird angle or dangling off the edge of craters um, I'll show you what I mean in a, in a second I'll get another base I've already done okay so it's kind of the craters on there you just leave it a little minute um, just let it uh, dry out slightly then what you can do is you just go around the edges there and you just smooth the very edges out a little bit Just so when you paint it, you don't have a really defined edge. So you see the way I'm kind of trying to blend that into the into the wood of the base a little bit. That. So as you're as you're pulling down on the uh, on the milliput, it's kind of ripping it. So it's quite rough, you end up with quite a rough finish and that's what you want. So it's a uh, ground that's been hit by an artillery shell or, or whatever and it's completely ripped the ground up. The last thing you want really is it to be all nice and smooth. And there's a temptation with that I think when you're model making, you try to make everything nice and smooth and perfect. But you really don't want that. So there you go. There's three craters on a base, as simple as that. What the last little thing I do as well before I forget is the inside of the crater where it's nice and smooth. I just make a few little lines with the end of the sculpting tool just to roughen it up slightly. But again, you're going to put the agrellin earth, or sorry, I put the agrellin earth inside as well, so you have that cracked effect even on, on the craters. Um, you don't want it too smooth. If you plan on putting any figures standing inside the craters, you don't want it too. Um, uneven in there as well so there you go easy as that um, I'll let this dry uh, I'll come back to it and uh, I'll show you how I put the Agrella and Earth paint on as well okay then so now that the milliput's dried the next stage that I do is uh, give the whole thing a coat of um, this called now it's the game color earth paint the reason I do that is um, once you put the agrellin earth on um, once you start putting that on if you've just got the bare um, milliput once it cracks you can see all the white the white milliput underneath and it doesn't have quite the same effect so I put that underneath just as a base layer um, if that makes sense so after that's that's dry the next stage you're going to go on to um, is obviously you're just going to put the the agrella and earth on. So that's this stuff. Um, so once that's on and it's dried, you can see there now um, how it's all cracked up. Um, and you, even on top of the um, craters and things like that. So what I was saying about it before, don't worry too much about if it all starts ripping and things like that. You can see there um, just where it was ripping when I was pulling it down, um, and that kind of all adds to the effect. 
Um, so that's the Aguila Nerf on. And after that, second to last bit is what I do next. Um, just to make the, the crater stand out a little bit more, um, is I give it a, a quick the craters a quick coat of um, Army Painter Soft Tone Shade, um, just over the craters, uh, and then leave that to dry. Once that's dry, the final bit on the basin is a, a dry brush over the craters with a Vallejo Iraqi Sand, which is that one. So it's 819 Iraqi Sand, that's the one you want. Um, and that's the effect we end up with. So, um, here's a base I did, I finished off last night. These are um, forefront assault troops uh, and they're on that, there's 20 of them on there or 22 of them on there actually because we've got a couple of commanders on there as well those two, uh, on a small base and finally um, what I was mentioning about the vehicles before at the beginning of the video um, is to put them on first before you put the crate, before you build the craters and this is one that I'm working on um, and I put these two vehicles on before I put the crater on um, just so I get an idea of where the vehicles are going to sit and where the crater is going to be. I've also placed on the, the little um, ball of milliput and I can just take these two vehicles off, make the crater as normal, paint it all up and get the base ready. So once these two vehicles are painted um, I can just glue them straight on uh, and they're not going to be precariously sort of balancing on these craters and things like that. Um, so. There's a final result there. Um, I hope you found that useful. Um, thanks very much for watching, uh, and there'll be a bit more of the three mil um, content coming soon. So thanks again, and bye bye.